Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got uh, equations that involve indices right here. So there are three of them. The first one here, we have uh, 4 power 2x plus 1 is equal to 8 power 2x minus 1. So the first step here must be to balance the bases. We shall have a 2 here, power 2 open bracket 2x plus 1 inside the brackets there equal to 2 power 3 open bracket 2x minus the 1 so we have balanced the basis was that 2 to the power 2 is 4 2 to the power 3 is a um, is 8 so the power which is here must be multiplied by the power which is right here that's why we are putting the brackets also the power which is right here must be multiplied by the power which is here so once you balance the bases you get the powers 2 open bracket 2x plus 1 there equal to 3 open bracket 2x minus the 1 so here we have a 4x plus a 2 which is equal to 6x minus a 3 we group the like terms we shall have 4x minus 6x is equal to negative 3 minus uh, a 2 there okay so when we work out things nicely we shall get a negative 2x is equal to negative uh, 5 so divide by negative 2 by negative 2 this side we shall remain with uh, x and the other side here negative or negative will go we shall remain with uh, 2 remainder 1 over a 2. So this is the, our solution. We now go to question B. So for question B, we do almost the same. Copy. So this is question B. We have uh, x power negative 4 is equal to 625. So here, applying the laws of indices, we can't solve with a negative power. So we have to make sure that we have a positive power. So it will be 1 over x power 4, which is equal to 625. Uh, so we have now this. The next thing here would just be to cross multiply. So we shall have 1 over 6, 25 is equal to x power 4. So we just cross multiply. This goes here, uh, comes, uh, comes on top, and this one also down here. So after that, we now find the fourth root, both sides. The fourth root. We want to get rid of this power 4. So here it will cancel. We shall remain with x. This side, the fourth root of uh, the fourth root of 1, it will just be 1 over the fourth root of 6, uh, 6, uh, 25. It will just be a 5. Here, when I say fourth root, I'm simply referring to finding a square root over this twice. So square root of this twice, it will give us uh, a 5. Okay, so this is uh, our solution. We now go to the last question. Question C. So for question C here, we need to be very, very careful. So we shall say C, 5x is equal to 125x power negative 1 over 2. So the first thing here will be to divide by 5, both sides. So we shall have x is equal to 25 5 into 5, 1 into, into 125, it's a 25. So 25 x power negative 1 over 2. The next thing is uh, to divide by x power negative 1 over 2. Even here, divide by x power negative 1 over 2. Okay. So this side will cancel. This other side, using the laws of indices, we shall have uh, something like this. We get rid of the negative power. So this is what we are going to have, which is equal to 25. Okay. 
So now the laws of indices here, when you work out, you're going to have a, a 3 over 2 because the, the bases are the same. So you add the powers. 1 plus 1 over 2. That will be 3 over 2, which is equal to 25. So now here, we are going to say uh, cube root, I mean the square root, square root of, uh, or in other ways, we are going to, to, to find the, the inverse. So 3 over 2 is equal to, so here we just multiply by the opposite, which is a 2 over 3, even this side, 2 over 3. So 3 and 3 will cancel, 2 and 2 will cancel, we shall remain with x is equal to here the cube root of 25 and power 2 there. So this is our solution. We can leave our answer like this. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Remember to subscribe and bye-bye.